Biden's are the biggest winners of the COVID era. When the era comes to an end, I mean, look at the action Upwork. It's a terrific company with an online marketplace where business, they hire freelancers, especially for remote work. They also build in all sorts of collaboration, communication software, make the process as smooth as possible. Perfect for the stay-at-home economy, which is why the stock's up nearly 1,000% from its lows last year. Now, last night, the company reported in yet another great quarter, extremely bullish guidance. And what happens? Well, first, the stock soared from 51 to 63 and changed. I like that. Then it sold off hard, finishing the day up just 3.5%. Investors, maybe, I don't know, they're using to ring the register, a classic COVID winner? So is the market right to hesitate, or are you basically getting an incredible quarter for free? Let's take a closer look with Hayden Brown, the president and CEO of Upwork, to learn more about the quarter and where her company is headed. Ms. Brown, welcome back to Mad Money. Jim, thanks for having me. Okay, so Hayden, here's my thinking. There are two kinds of companies. There are the kinds of companies that weren't doing well going into the pandemic, and then they got a, a temporary boost, and the pandemic ends, and they're going right back. Bad. Your company was on a really good trajectory going into the pandemic. People now realize it, and a lot of people want to work for Upwork, and a lot of people like a GE need these people. This is really where you can break out as a company. Absolutely, Jim. This is not a fly-by-night situation. This is a trend that was starting way before COVID, and this, things have just accelerated as companies have woken up to the fact, not just that remote work is something that they can do in the long term, but that remote work enables them to tap into a global talent pool of independent professionals who can give them flexibility, scalability, efficiency in how they do core operations very differently. And that's a lasting change that they can take advantage of even after this pandemic ends. All right, so let's dig down on that. I, I get out of school, I go to Goldman Sachs. All I want to do is have a job for a lifetime, okay? That's what I want to do. I just want to be there. Then some things happen, I had to be a hedge fund manager. But I never thought for a million years that I would like to work sometimes and not work others and that I could have a life other than my job. I am obviously so old, old school, forget me. I could never be an upper. Tell me about the new person comes out of school and says, you know what? I want freedom and I'm good at what I do. So I'm going to work for Upwork and I'm going to have freedom. Is that the new person that I wish I were? The paradigm has totally shifted. Young people are realizing that number one, the employment pact is broken. They saw that in the 2007 8 recession. They're seeing that again now, and they know they want more control and flexibility in how they build their careers. We've seen that again for years. That's not a new trend, but it has certainly accelerated today with more than half of Gen Z freelancing and 59 million Americans freelancing. So again, this is a long-term trend that has been happening in the workforce, and companies are waking up to the fact that if they want to be working with the best talent, they have to be tapping into the independent economy. They cannot be limiting themselves to uh, full-time employees. So every company out there is realizing they need to have a strategy and a tool like Upwork for tapping into the best talent out there, which increasingly includes freelancers out in the economy and specifically on Upwork. Okay, so let's talk about three important things. Healthcare, diversity, and inclusion. Can you get all kinds of people to represent the United States of America as opposed to what my generation was? And can anyone afford healthcare? Absolutely. These are independent professionals that are earning high wages. 70% or more on Upwork are college educated. They have 20% uh, of them have a postgraduate degrees. So these folks are, you know, highly skilled professionals, independent entrepreneurs, basically building their businesses, building their careers and doing uh, so using you know, freelancing as their livelihoods. What we heard from them through this most recent economic downturn is they actually felt more secure as independent freelancers than they had being at the whim of a single employer had they been a full-time employee at a company that might have furloughed them or laid them off. So they're actually choosing this as a way to increase their economic security, where typically they have you know, a stable of clients they're working for, and they know that they're insulated from one of those clients potentially going out of business or pulling work because they have an independent business where they have a lot of options. All right, so Hayden, I'm a huge fan of your company, but I want our people to understand what is a great way to measure how you're doing. How about record net client additions? Again, should we be looking at that metric? I think, Jim, it's one of the indicators of the strength in the business now and going forward. We definitely had increases in our client spend retention last quarter, you know, over 25% increase in the spend from existing customers. We also saw a 10% increase in spend from customers in Q4 in 2019, in 2020 versus customers in Q4 of 2019. So I'd say we're seeing strength from newly acquired customers, from retained customers. 
uh, all segments of our business are really performing super strongly right now. And we are expecting that to continue through 2021 and beyond. Because again, this is a trend that has been started well before the pandemic and is going to continue as companies have really adjusted their operating, operating models to put independent talent into key roles in their businesses to drive performance. And uh, if someone's watching right now and they want to be involved with Upwork, what do they do? Log on to the website, www.upwork.com or download our mobile app. And really it's easy to get started. One click uh, shopping experiences like Project Catalog can get you going with a freelancer right now. You can also post jobs into the marketplace to get longer term project based work going. So it's really easy. Enterprise customers, there's an offering for them as well with compliance, uh, worker classification coverage, all of it. We really serve the full spectrum of customers, uh, regardless of what their needs are. Well, you have done a great job with your company, and I, I cannot believe how many people, because I posted it, how many people are using you and are so satisfied. It's really pretty fantastic. Hayden Brown, President and CEO of Upwork, thank you for coming on Mad Money. Thanks, Jim. Stay on Kramer. One of Wall Street's hottest investing trends shows no signs of cooling off. But with many ways to play it and plenty of speculation, Kramer's decoding this space for investors just ahead. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.